saw from that. But, okay. You can put him in his bed. Okay. Because there's permit. a bed for dogs on the floor. Um, no, he wants to be in my shirt. He can. He can be in my shirt. He wants to go back to where he came from. That's not right. Right in my shirt. That's not right. Sandra Bullock, fantastic. Amazing to see ten out of ten, a younger Bullock. generation finally appreciate Sandra Bullock. I appreciate her when we, I know who when I when I know it's her. We know you do. Yeah. You of all people appreciate Sandra Bullock, Julie Roberts, and Anne Hathaway they more are, than most. They're a good person. <laughs> My New Year's resolution is to grow seven inches taller, so I might as well just lay down and rest because that's the only way it's probably gonna happen. I can do it. I believe in me. No, I, you can't. I can do it. No, you can't. Yes, I can. I okay. believe in me. All right. I bet you a million dollars that you can't do it. I said doll hairs. I was going to say, you would give a million dollars to just to pet people with? Who are you? I don't know. Oh my God. Doll hairs. Oh, okay. Doll hairs. Doll hairs. Not dollars. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you buy the internet up here? Yeah, an Egyptologist is an any archaeologist, historian, linguist, or art historian who specializes in Egyptology. I want to be a New Mexologist. <laughs> New Mexicologist. Boy, what do you know about New Mexico that makes you a New Mexologist? Louisianologist. Oh, okay. South Dakotologist. I think that one's not North Dakotologist. <laughs> only South. Well, South Dakota is really fun. Part of South Dakotaology is that there is no North Dakotaology. I know, you know, and I think that's spreading misinformation. You better be careful. No way. He's just going to like blow that hookah vape just like into the pyramids of Giza. And the episode literally ends. He's like, yeah, I'm just, I'm really hoping that, you know, in the future we can really go back and study what this means. And he's like, <laughs> chucks a fat cloud at the pyramid of Giza. And it's like, doo, doo. Because, I mean, we have an understanding of tectonic plates, but, like, do we really know how they work? No, because if we did, I don't know. Maybe we'd be able to tell when an earthquake's going to happen. I don't know. You know what I mean? Isn't that what a Richter scale is? No, that measures an earthquake. Seismic? Seismic. Whatever. Whatever. We're just, like, two we dummy dumb dums. We know nothing. Yeah, we're, like, two dummy dumb dums talking about this. We're just, like, rattling off terms that we might have learned in, like, fifth grade. And so how did they explain at least how it manifested or how long it lasted? It or blew up. Oh, it just blew up. But like there was a, you said like there was a femtosecond yeah. of it existing as a black hole and then it blew up. Is that what happened? Yeah. I'm going to use femtosecond in my vocab, by the <laughs> please way. Do not, please do not. If you're going to say not. come home, I'll be like, please. I'll be there in a femtosecond. Yeah, babe. it said within 30 femtoseconds. 30. I'm right around the corner. Be there in a femto. <laughs> <don't know>. <laughs> <laughs> I started laughing yeah. at the sentence in Einstein's theory, yeah. not just gravity, but any energy when concentrated enough, can create a black hole. So, like, all y'all's energy that you be bringing into 2019, be careful, okay? Because if it's it concentrated be, enough... You don't want to create no black holes. Don't create a black hole. Are you Hold ready? Yeah, just give me one femtosecond. I just got to... Okay, we're good. <laughs> I regret ever saying that word out loud, so you can use it. You can Google a picture of the Sphinx. Yeah, but, but it takes at least a couple of femtoseconds to Google it. <laughs> but, but look at the size of his head. Yeah, he's in like tiny head mode. <laughs> he's in tiny it's not head mode. Yeah. He's in tiny head mode. Okay. Yeah. There's a drawing. This is really interesting to me because this is what it would look like if it had an anatomically correct size Anubis head, like a big dog head mm -hmm. with that flat back, not like a lion. It shows how the recarved head of the Sphinx was carved out of the neck stump, which remained on the Sphinx after the original statue was mutilated. So that's what the Sphinx would have originally looked like with its original head before King Cheops or King Chinifrin or somebody later on was like, make that big statue my head. So the theory, Put my head on it. So the theory of Sphinx is just remember, to space. Okay, to according plates. to Einstein's theory. If any energy, not just gravity. Including Aries is, energy. Oh my God. Is concentrated enough. You can't create might, an Aries might, black hole. I might create a black hole at some point. So if, <laughs> if if you don't see me, I'll be in my black hole. We're we'll give them to the you opposite in a of knowledge. We are not no, knowledge. knowledge. <laughs> Julian, what the hell is going on? What What is that? It's a dog pile. Okay. Well. Looks like this episode started off just a little bit differently than every other episode My ever. dog pile. It's so cute. How can you not like this dog pile? Well, buckle up. Because we're going to... I'm double buckled? 
Don't double buckle. I have one of those buckles that goes over your head in the shape of an X. I'm strapped, bitch. Like a car seat? Yes. Are you in a car seat right now? Yes. <laughs> For big girls, though. But you guys probably already knew that. Many of you guys are parents <laughs> or babies. Welcome, babies. <laughs> that Give one. me a C. Uh, uh, <laughs> it's perfect pitch. It's not perfect pitch. Okay, give me another one. Uh, e. Uh, <laughs> joking, I'm joking. It's... Right, E. You're no, playing do F. them. Do F, do F, do F, do F. No, but see, you just played E, so I could figure out F. So do F. Uh, what? That's why you can't do it that okay, way. I've been sister. asking my mom for a sister. <laughs> she said no. She said Jenna, fuck you. Oh. <laughs> and I was like, please. I don't think she said Jenna, fuck you. Yeah, she you. did. She did. She did. She uh, definitely did. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Does Jenna Royals have a basketball game tomorrow? Yes. <laughs> basketball game tomorrow. Why do people look that up? <laughs> I have a basketball game tomorrow. Because <laughs> they seriously want to know. You've That's said it enough funny. times that they're like, wait a minute. That's Julian's telling me to have a job. Um, no. So let me know if you guys find anything. <laughs> I'm looking. Let me know if you find one. Let me one. know if you hear anything good. Because Julian told, us, told me to speak Spanish. Yo soy español. <laughs> si, me gusta el palabra. Ugaro baseball. Ugaro baseball. <clears throat> Is Julian telling me to bisexual? Hell yeah. Oh, that's what people really be looking for, though, Julian. I'm going to do something. Y'all out here trying to steal my man. This is a higher mom off Craigslist. So left out. So looking left for a Jewish out. mom to sign me up for Maccabi. So left out. I'm like the Danielle Monte of the Maccabi games. I'm not sure I get that reference. He was that, like, 15-year-old that played in the Little League World Series. <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember that. He was dominating. He was just wrecking. He was, just wrecking he was a these pitcher. Children. He was destroying everyone. Throwing the like, equivalent of, like, 101 yeah, miles they were, they were like, there's no way this kid's legit. And they were like, yeah, he's legit. He's legit. He's fine. <laughs> minute, and then, no. you know, an article, like, a week later, it's like, he wasn't legit. Yeah. That last one said, is Julian Solomita okay? <laughs> is Julian Solomita Okay. In Fireball. <laughs> Why, yes. What? Uh, was Jenna Marbles in Fireball? Yes, I was. Can we watch that? That boy's from the bottom, bottom on the May. I gave sushi little pet up. No. Julian Solomita shirtless. No. Guys, you nasty. He typed in Julian Solomita. And then right after that, it says Julian Solomita height, which is constantly debated oh, on stream. God, should I even click on this? This is so dumb. You guys, there's a lot of misinformation on the internet about that's not true. <laughs> I'm not five foot nine. Wait, what's your height? Mine's always been correct on here. It says five five. Damn, must be nice. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's probably because you have a yeah. It's the Wikipedia. So they don't do they don't fuck around with like, oh high school, high school tweets. No 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 no. no. <laughs> that's really funny. Uh, don't Google us anymore. Please stop it. Just what? Kidding. You can Google us all you want. I'm sorry, y'all. Maybe someday I'll have merch so you don't have to keep looking it up. And sorry that Google says I'm 5'9". I'm not 5'9". <laughs> what is this podcast, Julian? Uh, this is the Jenna Julian podcast. No, 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 no. What, what are we doing? Are you going to play it for me? Play that? Uh, I can play okay. it. I, I'll do it. Maybe you play it. I'll do it. <laughs> Robert Hershevik. Who, who literally never puts an offer on the table ever, and that's the T. Kevin, O'Leary. it's a good, it's a good group of people. And then there's Robert. <laughs> One of our favorite things to do when we're watching Shark Tank was just fun make fun of Robert. I'm it's sure he's because, a fucking dope guy, but, but like because, he's like, just so fun to hate on. Because you're like, oh, Robert, what, uh, you're gonna be out? No shit. Oh, no shit. He never fucking makes an offer. Here's, oh, 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 can I try? Oh, my God. Yeah, he's always oh, the one that so tries, tries oh, the product. Oh, you're so brilliant. Like, I'm so proud of you. Oh, but I'm out. Yeah, he always... And it's like, wait, what? Like, what? Every single time he does that. Do you ever have a drink <laughs> where... I'm nervous because you're not <laughs> laughing at me. Do you ever have a drink where you're trying to sip through a straw, but then at the end of the drink, you just get a bunch of crunchy, like, or a powder, or, or coffee grinds? Mm -hmm. You ever do that? Yeah. Pause. I mean, I Hold it right there. Introducing straw, straw whisk. 
It's a straw no. with a tiny whisk at the <laughs> very tip of it for $9.99. $10? It costs us, it, $9.99. <laughs> Excuse you. Okay. It costs us $8.50 to make them. We have horrible <laughs> margins. <laughs> we need help. I don't know why it's so expensive to make a straw whisk. Wait, we have product. a patent. <laughs> don't. We got one. When did you get a patent? Just now. Did you file for one or you just, you just gave it to yourself? I drew one. <laughs> I don't think that's how it works. What if I get a patent tomorrow? No. Can I come back? No. <laughs> you don't have any profit margin whatsoever. Well, we also don't have... We're not in the negative. I've only made one. I need help manufacturing them. <laughs> <laughs> I need lots of help. And you're waking up in the morning and you're choking down all those vitamins and you think to yourself, what the fuck am I doing to get all these vitamins? I have to choke down these huge horse pills, chunky, chunky horse pills. In fact, that's on our product says no more chunky chunky horse pills <laughs> now you can get your vitamins when you're eating your french fries with vitamin ketchup oh my we actually you might have heard about, about this, this as i've made appearances oh. with my adventure on multiple outlets online our next our product next year our if this does well we're gonna do protein mustard but that's later <laughs> that's we, so disgusting we have, we have to sell at least like a couple thousand of the vitamin ketchups to fund ourselves there no one's ever supplemented every single vitamin out there in one item and shoved it in your mouth. What about a multivitamin? No, that's... What does your that? vitamin ketchup have? That's that, a multivitamin. That, a multivitamin that sounds like a competitor. Does <laughs> that still doesn't solve the problems for people who don't want to take a pill. What about... They make multivitamin mm. gummies. They're I'm allergic to gummies. No, you're not. <laughs> what is it in the gummy you're allergic to? Vitamin G. Okay, you know what? I'm out. Please, Julian, it's please, been, it's been please. A I have nowhere to go. My mom kicked me out. <laughs> I'm really sorry that you never saw multivitamins coming, but I'm gonna have to pass. <laughs> you could be the cool new guy in the office. Hey, what's that in your mouth? Can I have some? And You're then, just like chewing on a piece of plastic. Yes, and then you go pop it under the <laughs> bottom of the desk it stays there for however long the best part no. about the plastic filling aside from the fact that it's pure plastic and it's terrible for the environment is that it will keep the gum fresh for as long Julian, as you want to leave it there coated for. in plastic how is it sticking to things patent technology do you want to know what flavors what are your flavors we're not allowed to do mint we have the FDA said no for mint. So we found that the only food group that would allow us to use their flavor um, is bratwurst. So we have bratwurst. That's disgusting. It sounds like your target demo is a group of people who aren't going to be working in a conference room very long. So what you're not going to have any customers. What does that mean? Because you can't just keep sticking your gum on someone else's table. No light. So I'm going to need some sort of light. So I'm cranking. And I'm like, this is stupid. And then I farted. Julian. And I thought to myself, imagine if I didn't have to do any of the cranking oh to get God. this lantern to work. I'm all out. I had out. to do was <laughs> fart. I just needed to I'm fart out. once. I'm out. And all of the I'm energy out. of my fart <laughs> gets transmitted I'm out. I'm out. into kinetic energy I'm that out. goes into the lantern. So I'm later out. you can release the fart as energy I'm as the form of of light you're out for I'm light out <laughs> this is when to hear what the name of it is before you go out please what butt lantern <laughs> for emergencies when you don't want to sit there and crank like a troglodyte just put on the butt lantern every time you fart the butt lantern transforms energy from your fart into light and powers the lantern later on i'm out i'm starting a new company no it's called my phone. That's my phone. <laughs> no. I'm leaving. No. It's my phone. That's illegal. I have a my phone license. I'm out. Are you into it? Are you into yeah, the idea? Yeah, does it exist? No, it doesn't exist. I'm the first person to do Look it. Look it up. No. I refuse. No, no, no. Get off your phone. That's rude. It's my investing in no, your wait, mirror. Hold is on. Just yes on or no. Just existing. yes or no. Marbles, how about you? Are you interested? Sir. You're not allowed to pressure Sir, I'll the give you five like dog that. bones. Introducing my fitness enemy. It's just like my, <laughs> it's just like my fitness pal. But instead of tracking the macros and calories for you, once you finish a meal, it just tells you that you should ate something else. Like SoundCloud, but for your nose, no drugs allowed. You plug the smell of cloud <laughs> chip into your nose and then download the app, not on Android, and you can scroll through your feed of smells that artists in the UK is coming to the US soon have uploaded. <clears throat> Our alarm clock, Our alarm clock. 
it's an alarm clock that goes off anytime Ariana Grande releases new music, but the alarm <laughs> sound isn't Ariana music. It's we, all we could get was Chingy music. I'm ready to buy. <laughs> oh my god! How much? Uh, fifty five dollars per unit. That's it. I'm in all the way in. I'm all. You want to buy forty percent of the company? You know, you threw me. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> you threw me for a loop there when you said you couldn't get Ariana's music, but when you said Chingy, like it, I'm sold. You know, creepy, we- like weird people who do magic. Well, but that's like an unfair stereotype. Some of them will just like walk like, up to you and fucking corner you. Well, so that's see a magic trick. That's, a, that's just that's a whole you different thing because chill. that's that's called just like being a rude person <laughs> and having the hobby of magic. So you can't blame the hobby. What you do is you take the Capri Sun, pretend like this is the Capri Sun. This is my cell phone, but pretend it's the Capri Sun. Remember, this is actually a cell phone, <laughs> but we're pretending it's a Capri Sun. You put the straw on the top right, and when it's flat and deflated and you've drank everything, um, you fold it this way. It's hot dog ways. I can't fold it because it's a cell phone, not a Capri Sun. <laughs> And then you fold it up, it would turn into like a flip phone, right? And so then the antenna is the straw. So you pull Chill. out the antenna, unflip it, and then you're a loser like I was. Wow. Hello? Yes, I'm still a loser. Okay, bye. Wow. And then you draw the numbers, one, two, three, seven, eight, you know, all the, the numbers. Mm-hmm. You've, if you know about crack, Cactus Cooler, you're my dude. If you don't, I don't understand your life. We didn't have that. I wonder why... Maybe it was a West Coast thing? You Let's had look root it up. beer? That's a type of drink. Yeah. That's y'all, not a brand. Y'all ever tried root beer before, though? Damn. Cactus Cooler. <laughs> Distinguished by its orange, yellow, and green label with a saguaro cacti, is an orange pineapple soft drink sold in the U.S., main, mainly in the Southern California area. There you go. There's your explanation as to why you're so mad at everyone for not knowing what Cactus Cooler is. It was only specifically in your region. She'll come got it. It was really good. <laughs> Fuck. I did. The first time I came to California was like an adult. Damn. <laughs> I spent I, so much time as a kid here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they be like that. And then we be like. I, I don't know why or how you started saying that so saying what? much. Be like. Well, I'd be like, be like. And then me you be sound like. sound like a caveman. That'd be funny. <laughs> you sound so like I'd be a like, caveman. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to keep talking Fire like that. Fire be like. <laughs> Hello? This is what I was referring to. I wasn't calling like the women that do those incredible fucking acrobatics okay, so clowns. So there's the misunderstanding. <laughs> I thought you were calling the acrobats clowns for the sake of oh calling God. them clowns. No. So I get it. There's actually literal clowns who come out and do funny things. That's what I said. They're so funny. Yeah, who did right, you think right, I was right, laughing at? All right, clown. I got it. It's fine. You can do it. You got it. Don't touch my stuff. There's a hair on him. Okay. I'm getting this hair off of the weird dog that somehow ends up in your lap every podcast he's my sweet boy he deserves to sit where he wants you want to trade mics for a sec why oh let's just try it okay oh shit i didn't think it was gonna work our mics are grabbing sleeves oh shit look at that <laughs> holy shit oh shit Dude, you, people get very upset Go on, what's your favorite like show that you've seen in person <laughs> What? Why is this so weird? Stomp. <gasps> I saw Stomp too. Stomp was rad. It's it was not my favorite. So but good. Stomp was one of my favorites. I saw Blue Man Group VIP experience. I wonder <clears throat> what that means. You get to dance alongside them from stage left behind the curtain. <laughs> no, VIP experience. You just get you get go backstage before the show and they kick you in the face. You're like, oh my god, thank you. <laughs> oh my god, I love this VIP experience. I'm so glad I paid for it. I'll get you a cake. I don't want a cake. I'll get you a cake. I don't want a cake. I want a phone booth full of cash flying around. That's what all the bar mitzvahs oh. had when I grew up. Oh my God, Julian. <laughs> That's what they had when I grew up. They all had phone booths where you go in <laughs> and it starts to get windy and then you grab the cash and you're like, fuck, dude, why don't I get this? I understand. I'm not getting you a phone I booth full of flying cash. I understand the cash is a big ask. Okay, so I'll downgrade it. Can I just get a phone booth with pad thai flying everywhere? I walk in there <laughs> and you turn it on, and then there's just pad thai needles flying everywhere, and I'm I just think... like living my goddamn life. Honestly, that would be amazing, but logistically, the, that wind would have to be going so hard to make. I would need to strap that yarmulke to my fucking head so it does not fly off, <laughs> and I need to open my mouth to get that pad thai. That's so disgusting what I just described. What the fuck?
What the hell, dude? He's so cute. I wish he could talk, dude. He'd be so much better if he could talk. Yo, chill. <laughs> well, thank you guys for listening to our... I just wanted to test to see if the mic was working. Podcast. Uh, we'll be back next week with another episode. <laughs>